UT football coach Johnny Majors says sports is a mirror of society. And that's why the nation's drug and alcohol problems are high on his priority list. Majors is one of a number of athletic coaches who are worried about their players becoming involved in drugs or alcohol. The coaching fraternity's concern has even reached the high school level. Lakeview Fort Oglethorpe's Morris Rogers was troubled enough to initiate the area's first high school drug testing program. The Warriors football coach says there's no doubt in his mind there is a problem. We have too many instances where uh, in high school or even as far down as junior high and now elementary schools of kids getting involved in drugs and just basically destroying their lives before they ever really get started. Athletically, of course, we, we see the opportunity with a particular group of people uh, to do something, hopefully, to motivate them to stay away from the drug. Across the nation, colleges are jumping on the drug testing bandwagon. But it's not for a joyride. We're not on any kind of witch hunt and uh, that kind of thing, but we don't. We check a guy's knees and we check his blood pressure and his heart before we put him out there to compete in a game like football. So if, if drugs are going to be detrimental to his health, uh, then we're going to check that as part of the physical, and that's all we're trying to determine. I definitely think that the testing is going to have to go on uh, throughout the country. You know good and well if, if, if Vanderbilt had a problem, then there's a lot of people with the problem. Yes, even Vanderbilt came across a drug problem, the rampant use of steroids in the Commodore's athletic program. At Lakeview, Coach Rogers believes a few of his players were experiencing drug or alcohol problems last season, a theory substantiated by his current team. You know, when people really had thought that drugs were all right, you know, they, before the game, give them a unnatural high and feel like they could play with it better than they could without it and they'd find out towards the late going you know the drugs would wear off and they just felt like they couldn't go anymore. Not a lot. A couple of the guys on the team uh, did take drugs and I felt like it was hurting the whole team and it would be good to get them off the drugs and it helped the whole team. Mm -hmm. Most coaches believe the number of athletes involved is limited but feel even one with a substance problem is one too many. The result is the growing number of colleges and even a few high schools that test their players for drugs. But is it necessary to spend the money and subject a whole team to the test? We'll hear the answers in our next story. Bill Erickson reporting, News Center 12 Sports.